Welcome to this week's Medical Minute, brought to you by HMG, the region's largest physician group providing health care at every age. Today, we're talking with Dr. Richard Stevenson about heart disease and diabetes. Heart disease is the leading killer among men and women um, in the United States. And interestingly, many people always think that breast cancer is the leading cause of death in women, and it's not. It's coronary artery disease. If you have diabetes and you've never had a heart attack, you have the same risk of having a heart attack as a person who does not have diabetes who's already had one heart attack. But you have to be your own expert on uh, diet and the number of calories that you're taking in each day. You need to follow your doctor's advice on your medication. Check your blood sugars during the day, and you should have your blood checked every month or so to have your hemoglobin A1C evaluated. 50% of the people find out that they have heart disease either with sudden death or a heart attack. And if you're someone who starts noticing that you have some substernal chest pain or an ache or uh, some ache in your shoulder while you're having physical activity, or you start noticing that physical activity that did not give you shortness of breath before has suddenly started doing that, you may be the lucky 50% that finds out that you have heart disease before you have a heart attack. And that's obviously when we'd rather get to you. With our capabilities in the cardiac catheterization laboratory with stent placement um, to uh, ward off a heart attack and perhaps even ward off having to take it to the next level, which is what I do, and that's coronary artery bypass surgery. But if you have to have coronary artery bypass surgery, I always emphasize to people, you're not having to have it, you're getting to have it. Because there was a time, and it wasn't that long ago, when we really couldn't do that. And uh, my own grandfather died of a heart attack before we were able to do coronary bypass surgery. So you're not having to have heart bypass surgery, you're getting to have it. And it's gonna prolong your life, it's gonna improve your quality of life. It's going to allow you to live while you're alive. Make sure your doctor is a member of HMG and ask your doctor to send you to St. Bernard's.